One and one free throws out of the timeout for Tarrant Armstrong. A 63% free throw shooter on the year rattles home the first. So Taz only had three points against Lamar. It did tone in 10 assists and was a plus 18 on the box score. But Taz scoring the ball more tonight. Already six points on two of four from the floor to go along with three assists. And now make it seven points on the night for Taz. Good to see him back on the fold as the Lancers are going to show man-to-man -man full court defense out of the timeout. They'll back out of it as UTRGV gets it off across the timeline. 28-27 Lancers, 3.23 to go first half. Doc Nelson holds and now gives off left side, Quinton Johnson the second. Back to Nelson, now right corner, Justin Johnson. Merrick Nelson curls inside, a turnaround push shot on a fadeaway was in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Aachen for his 10th of this first half. Taz gives off Trey, left wing. Trey back up top of the key to Aachen, and now they're holding it back to the point guard is Taron Armstrong. Taz crosses over, takes his time, reads the defense, and holds with 13 on the shot clock. Taryn backs out, will reassess, and now will look to drive inside. Taryn holds, swings it over, no-look pass, extra find, a Rowell, straightaway three, no good off the left side of the iron. The Lancers now just 6 of 19 from downtown in this first half, 32%. 28-27 Lancers, and that 32% is right on their season average. As Doc Nelson holds, gives off Merrick Nelson, left wing. Nelson tried an entry pass that was picked up by Taz. Read it like a book, and here comes Taryn in transition. On the right wing, Armstrong, straight away, Hunter, who will drive inside. Bounce pass to Aachen, D.A. fouled hard. And Aachen falls down to the hardwood and will earn two free throws the hard way. As D.A. will pop back up after being helped up by his teammates. A great find inside that time by Chance Hunter. Who did the unselfish thing and fed it off to the big fella on a nice bounce pass inside. The foul, by the way, goes on Dante Houston. That's his second. And two free throws coming up for Aachen with 2.18 to go until halftime. The London, England native knocks down the first one. Dan fell in love with a game of basketball, watching the 2012 Olympic Games, watching Team USA in his hometown. Hadn't really thought about playing basketball until then. In fact, he was a rugby and a soccer player, football as you'd call it, across the pond. But fell in love with basketball, and it helps that he's 6'9", 225 as well. He knocks down two free throws, and the Lancers have a three-point lead with 2.15 to go first half. Again, full court, man-to-man -man defense on for the Lancers, but it's going to lead to a wide open three for Merrick Nelson, who cannot connect. Offensive rebound falls to Raekwon Taylor, and Taylor's made himself into a very good player in this first half. He's got eight points and six rebounds above his season average on both metrics in the first half. Aachen will drive inside, and he's bumped on his approach. And it will be one and one free throws for D.A. As the foul goes to Raekwon Taylor right on cue. He picks up his second. So the big guys for both teams having good first halves. Taylor has 8.6 rebounds. Aachen on the other end just four points. But he does have 10 first half rebounds. And I'll go back to the charity stripe. We already mentioned this earlier in the broadcast. But a man who is... Basically made the free throw line his second home so far this year. Seventh most free throws in all of college basketball attempted for Aachen. And the front end of the one and one is pure. So D.A. has taken seven of the Lancer nine free throws in this first half. He's now five of seven from the line. And his eighth attempt of the first half is also good. So a personal 4-0 run for D.A. All free throws. Had the Lancers on top by three yet again. 32-29 in the final 145 of this first half. And a big stretch coming up here. As we've seen, the Lancers, when they lead at halftime, they're very good, 12-3. But when they're tied or trailing at the half, they're just 1-8 so far this season. Justin Johnson will drive inside off the bounce. Euro step to the cup, and he got it and the foul. Justin Johnson is wowing, and the stats say a lot, but seeing it in person, that move was impressive. 16 first-half points for Justin Johnson. He's averaging 17 on the year, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. Malik Wade checks in for Dan Auken. With just under 90 seconds to go until halftime. Seven of nine from the floor is Justin Johnson. The Juco transfer. Also spent a year at Southern Miss. 
Only averaged six points per game last year for Southern Miss. And then decided to transfer over to UGE RGV. A minute 20 to go, and we're tied at 32 after the three-point play. The Lancers will have a side out inbounds off the deflection. So you look at Taryn Armstrong. He holds the ball at the top of the key for the Lancers. Lobbing to the high post, Wade now right back into the hands of Taz, who holds with 14 on the shot clock. Rifling a pass to the right quarter. Rowell drives inside. A little pushback jumper is good from 13. And Rowell's had himself a nice first half. Eight points on three of five from the floor. And the Lancers retake the lead as we trickle under a minute to go in this first half. 34-32 Lancers. 54 seconds to go until the break. As Justin Johnson again holds high above the three-point line. Lancer's got to pay extra attention to him as Johnson gives off on the left wing. Doc Nelson, who will pry inside, lob a pass up to Merrick Nelson, who nearly had a highlight reel jam, but instead had to pump midair and laid it up and in. His head nearly hit the side of the backboard. Major hops for Merrick Nelson, and we're tied again at 34. Seven-second differential between shot clock and game clock for the Lancers. 25 seconds to go first half as Taz crosses over. Drives inside. Nearly lost it. Regains possession. Triple teamed and swarmed. Falls down to the ground. And it's going to be a three in the key, I believe, is the call. So the Lancers turn it over for the sixth time of the first half. And UTRGV now will get the ball back and call a timeout. With 18.8 seconds to go first half as they can hold for the final shot of the opening 20 minutes. Got to say, an exciting first half of play as it's been a tale of two different styles. UTRGV at 48% from the floor. The Lancers just at 34%, but they have connected on six threes, and that's the difference so far. Points in the paint, though, 24-4 in favor of the Vaqueros through almost this entire first half. It's been the Lancers shooting the long ball, and the Vaqueros driving inside with the star of the game being Justin Johnson, who has basically gotten whatever he wants so far. 17 points on 7 of 9 from the floor. And when Johnson's been on the floor, the Vaqueros have been very potent offensively. They can hold for the final shot, like I said, with 18.8 seconds to go in this opening half. Homecoming Saturday night here in the Riv. And the Vaqueros will push the ball ahead out of the timeout with Doc Nelson getting it across the timeline. Isolated top of the key, Justin Johnson, who will hold it now at eight seconds to go first half. Johnson with a hip-high dribble with the right hand. Gets the switch on Trey. Step back three at the horn. No good off the right side of the iron, and that will take us to halftime. So after 20 minutes of basketball, we are knotted up at 34, right where we started at the beginning of this ball game. We'll step aside and take a timeout. The halftime show comes next on the CB Lancers Audio Network.